so I have a very scary suspicion that this 13 mil is the only thing holding these seats on. Unless I am just completely blind. And it sucks you can't actually get back there to... Oh, and I figured out... <laughs> I'm an idiot. I just realized what FOMOCO is. It's Ford Motor Company. I thought it was like some fucking Chinese off-brand name. I'm fucking stupid sometimes. You know, just having one of those days, I guess, with those brake pads that just drove me insane. Come on, come out of there. They just can't make anything easy, can they? Hopefully I can just get this seat out and be done with it and I won't have to look up instructions or anything. And I'm not putting in a rear seat delete kit. I might put in an X-brace, but I really am trying to keep the weight down and the car is already stable and you can't pretend for even a second like these rear seats add stability, especially if they're only held in by one fucking bolt, which just doesn't want to come out. And hopefully what's ever in the back of it is welded on, otherwise I'm in trouble. Yeah, it's welded. So, pretty sure these are just going to come straight out. I'm not too sure, but that's what it's starting to look like already. That these are just going to pop right out. <laughs> it's kind of scary, honestly. I mean, I guess the seatbelt's held on better, but... Well, okay, how do I, how do I take that off? Hmm, so the inner bracket was easy, now the outer bracket's being a dick. How do I, oh. Okay, so we do have to undo it. Well, I probably should stick those flat uh, so they don't get ruined. There we go. Okay, anyway, so, all right, there are more, than, there is more than one bolt. Because that would have been pretty freaking scary. And I guess I can screw that back into the car so I don't lose it. Um, well, I don't know. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's just a little bit. So it was a 13. Still got a little bit of brake fluid on it. Okay. Might even take out the passenger seat. If I can get away with that. I don't even know if that's legal or smart. <laughs> Come on. It's like really rough, rough threads. I'm trying not to mess up the seat. Because the car has to have resale value, obviously. You have to be able to put the poor car back together. So, one down. Ah. One to go. and they're way tighter than the rest of them. Come on. Oh, come on, really? Just get the hell out of there. Oh, they're not Loctited. I don't understand why the threads are so sticky. This should just come right out. Yep. One down. One to go. <laughs> Latched. 
There we go. Okay. Ah! I don't ever have to worry about people making me give them rides. Well, at least not in the back seat. I don't have to hear them bitching about it either. You know, you give somebody a ride and they still bitch, 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 bitch. Oh, your back seat's too small. It's like, well, then I'm not going to give you a ride again. So, now what? Ah, how are these connected? How are those connected? might be difficult. There's no way you just pull it off. That would probably break something. Okay, we'll be back when I figure this. All right, so after some research, some of the older Mustangs have a latch and the latch is supposed to have a button. There it is. Yes? No? Yes, that looks like a button. There we go. Don't even have to use a screwdriver anymore. They So you just come over until you see or feel a little latch and seems to enjoy relatching itself and what is this is that what the fuck is that cover cover TPE foam what the hell is this thing Is that a weight sensor? That can't be a weight sensor. Some kind of... It's not a speaker, is it? It can't be. Anyway, so this comes out. Be careful with it, because you don't want to fuck it up and have to pay a couple hundred dollars for a new one. And it's really not that heavy. I mean, weight's weight, but... I don't really know if it was worth taking it. Well, actually, yeah, it is worth it, so people can't force me to give them rides anymore. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. So... Uh, uh, just lift this up for a second. There we go. Just put that down there. Don't forget about this piece. Okay. stroke anyway so now that's pretty much it I mean obviously you can you know run some felt over this by yourself because paying a hundred something bucks for it is a complete ripoff I wouldn't recommend taking these seat belts out because they're you know you don't want to be liable for that if you ever put it back in so I'm just gonna do that so they don't flop around there we go now what is this Delphi Delphi it's an audio manufacturer are these like subwoofers for the seat Whatever this is, it's in there good. What the hell is that thing? It's all nasty and... What the fuck?
fuck? What the hell is this thing? Wait a minute, is that my fuel tank? Oh, I think those are the fuel tank sensors. Oh, I don't want to fuck with that. Fuck it, I'll look it up online. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure out what it is. So if I accidentally pull my fuel tank apart with all that shit hanging up there, that would be pretty fucking dumb. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that's my fuel tank. Alright, anyway, so now we took some weight out. Obviously, we can strip all these panels down if we want, but I'm not going to go that far because the car has to... Well, I don't want my dad to fucking kill me. But, I mean, I probably if I, if I don't gain some time just from having the subwoofers out, if I can't get down another second, basically, let's say, 35th place or 30th place, then I'm going to strip everything out I possibly can. Especially, I'm going to get a radiator, because it's actually pretty cheap, get a lightweight radiator mount, because apparently they're really heavy. And then I'll go and get the K brace once I sell, excuse me, sell the subwoofers. So that's all for now, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. <laughs>